Moms, 59F, boyfriend, 78M, played a cruel prank on her. How do I explain this is not normal? My mom, 59F, has been dating her next door neighbor, Mark, 78M, for about two years. Currently, she's out of state visiting her mother. Last week, while I was at work, she called me in a complete panic. She said her condo kitchen, which is being remodeled, was flooding the entire building, and I needed to rush over with my spare key to turn off the water. I told her I'd leave immediately, but it would take me about 45 minutes to get there. I suggested she call Mark to try to break down the door since he didn't have a spare key. After hanging up, the seriousness of the situation hit me. I worried about the potential damage and the financial consequences for my mom, including lawsuits from other condo owners and possibly losing her retirement. As I was drafting a message to my boss to explain why I needed to leave, my mom called again, saying, don't go. Mark was playing a prank on me. I was horrified. What kind of person thinks this is funny? Mark knows my mom has anxiety and has been stressed about the remodel. I couldn't fathom why he would do this. This morning, my mom provided more context. She believes Mark did this out of petty revenge because she refused to leave him her key to install a wine rack as a surprise. The more details she shared, the more calculated it seemed. He had sent her a picture showing about a foot of water with a message claiming her unit was flooding the building, and the building manager was trying to access her unit. When she called him for more information, he lied about a fire truck and police car being at the complex. He only admitted it was a joke after she told him I was on my way. She sent him a text expressing how cruel his prank was, and he responded by telling her to relax and enjoy her vacation, without any apology. I'm very worried about my mom. If she ends the relationship, I'm afraid Mark might retaliate with another cruel act. Living next door to him means there's no way to avoid him. I need unbiased advice on how my mom should navigate this situation. How do you break up with someone who lives next door? How can I help her? Am I overreacting by thinking he could be dangerous after this prank? Too long did not read. My mom, 59F, is dating her next door neighbor, Mark, 78M. While she was on vacation, Mark played a cruel prank on her, pretending her condo was flooding and causing a lot of panic. He did this out of petty revenge because she wouldn't leave him a key to install a wine rack. I'm worried about my mom's safety and how to help her break up with him since they live next door to each other. Need advice on how to handle this situation. At first I was wondering why her partner of two years didn't have a spare key yet, but the further I read, the more I understood why. Your mother deserves better than some old, cruel fart who plays pranks like this in retaliation, like a toddler throwing a tantrum. Up. Ah, this is the type of person that would absolutely do what he pranked over because he was angry. He got revenge because he didn't get what he wanted, and now that he pulled a prank and someone is actually saying, actually, this person is a pos, he's going to retaliate further. Psychopaths don't like it when people see what's under their masks. Make sure she never gives him a key, and please get your mother a security camera for outside and inside so you can both check on her home while she is gone. 78 doesn't mean harmless. Tell your mother that these pranks are not okay. If he did this as petty revenge then what else will he do? Ask your mom what she would tell you if your partner decided to prank you and make you panic? And most importantly does she understand that you never date neighbors? That is a whole bunch of red flags. Most importantly that age gap is something that needs to be thrown in the bin. He's 78. Playing pranks like a 20 year old. Make like Mr. O'Hara and let it die. Explain to your mother that this man is not supposed to treat her like this and him being that age and his mentality is still of a 20-year-old frat boy who does petty revenge is not something she wants. Can you stay with your mom for a while after she breaks it off with him? Also make sure she gets some cameras. I'd remind your mom that it's only a prank if everyone involved is laughing. The prank, his response, and the age gap all seem like red flags to me. I hope she can end the relationship safely. Could she stay with you or another close friend, family member if she has to find a new place to live? Amazing how no matter the age, age gap relationships are always so toxic. Man facepalming. My partner's, 26 male, reaction to me, 26 female, being assaulted scared me. What do I do? Too long did not read.
a stranger assaulted me on the bus, and instead of offering support or comfort, my partner yelled at me. Looking for any advice on how to proceed? Fellow Redditors, what do you do about an unprecedented behavior from your partner? Am I just freaked out, or does something need to change? I'll get right into it, this weekend. I got into a conversation with a man at the bus stop, who was flirty but seemed respectful when I told him to back off. He asked if he could kiss me, and I told him no. At this point I was starting to feel uncomfortable, but regardless was still trying to be friendly for some god-forsaken reason. We sat separately, and I didn't think much of it. Then right before he got off the bus, the stranger told me that I could give him this one, and pulled me into a kiss. He stepped off the bus and disappeared while I tried to avoid the judgmental stare from the bus driver. I got off the bus feeling sick to my stomach, and called my partner to pick me up as soon as he could. When he arrived I was halfway out of my body, feeling incredibly upset and terrified and like everyone was staring at me as they drove past the bus stop. When my partner, we'll call him W, picked me up, I think he could tell something was wrong. But didn't ask, as is sometimes his way. I think sometimes he waits for me to come to him. Which is not always a good thing. I told him that something had happened on the bus, telling that a stranger on the bus had kissed me. W exploded. He yelled, what? Louder than I've ever heard him shout before. He's never yelled at me, he knows it's a big fear trigger for me, but I don't think he remembered in the moment. He was just incredulous and angry. And you didn't punch him? You didn't kill him. W kept yelling. I couldn't look anywhere but the road at this point. Stating straight ahead, stiff as a board. I don't remember what I said next, but the reaction was the same. I was trying so hard to stay calm and not go total silent, but the yelling didn't stop. A few things he said included something along the lines of, if you're not prepared, you're just a victim in waiting. I don't even remember what made me snap, but right as he pulled into our apartment complex, I snapped and screamed, he fucking assaulted me, which was hysterical and completely insane, and W screams back, significant other WHY did you let him? I all but took the door off trying to get out of the car, broken earring with my struggle with the seatbelt and my headphone cord. I slammed the door and watched him speed off into our building's parking lot about 100 feet away. I burst into tears. He got out of the car, and took a lap around the building on foot to cool off. I have followed and got my things out of the car and let myself inside our apartment. I shut myself in the bathroom and called my friends until someone answered. We'll call this friend SS asked what was up, and I just sobbed incoherently until I managed to get the story out. S asked if W was going to hurt me, and I said, no, I don't know why he's doing this. He's so angry with me. W came to the door of the bathroom, and knocked until I told him to go away. He asked if I was hurting myself, which I didn't respond to other than sobbing. He let himself in and sat down at the far end of the bathroom from me. He just. Stared at me. Didn't say anything, just fucking looked at me until I broke and asked what he wanted. I don't really remember what happened, or what he said next, but the conversation was unpleasantly rough. I know he apologized at some point. Profusely. I do recall telling him that it was very fucked up to treat someone like that, and he said that he had panicked. I mentioned the idea of not telling him, and he got angry again. He tried to leave the apartment at one point, but he drives angry and I didn't want him to get hurt. I told him I needed him to stay and he accepted that immediately. He started stress cleaning at one point, and the idea of not moving sounded awful, so I started cleaning too. I think the atmosphere dispersed slowly, but I was so beyond okay. I was completely terrified of doing anything out of line. My ex abused the fuck out half me in a lot of ways, physical and emotional, and W has never done anything like this before. He's never had more than a brief flare of temper, nothing like this level of anger, and never towards me. We went out to dinner with friends, as we'd had the plans for a week. I didn't object to going out, it sounded better than staying home and rotting. We didn't talk about it until we got home much later, when I was rather inebriated after drinks with friends. He apologized again. Saying he didn't know why he acted like that, and he was sorry for scaring me and making me cry. My brain won't stop being afraid, even though he's promised to work on this. He's the kindest and funniest man he know, but this wasn't okay. I don't feel okay. I feel anxious and scared to be at home. 
I'm terrified of going out and seeing the bus stranger again. What do I do? How am I supposed to feel safe with someone who reacts like this? Any advice would be fantastic. I think it's clear why you continued being polite and friendly even after he was initially inappropriate. He stayed near you, so you did the tend and befriend de escalation thing so many women do when men are being creeps. You were just trying to stay safe. So many men don't get that. He's never had more than a brief flare of temper. Okay, but also, he drives angry and I didn't want him to get hurt. I don't think I could forgive the person who supposedly loves me for doing something like this. What he did to you is extremely fucked up, not okay in any way and not justifiable. You rightfully shouldn't feel safe with someone who yells at you and blames you for getting assaulted. Please reconsider this relationship. You and need to leave your partner if he blames you or what happened. I'm so sorry you endured that and it was not your fault. He didn't care about you as a person he cared about you as his property. Had you been raped, he would have never spoke to you again. He is showing his true self. He also had to be drunk to apologize. This just reminds me of the reaction of my mother when a random guy in front of the 7-Eleven next to my APTS at the time started following me to my app door. She said, did you smile at him? Insinuating it was my fault woozy face I'm no contact with her now. Act accordingly. A guy that I'm seeing is a germanophile. I'm 18F and he's 24M. What should I do? I, 18F, have been going on a few dates with a guy, 24M, whom I met at school. Our most recent date was last Wednesday he took me to the mall to buy me clothes since he knows that I'm into fashion, and then we had dinner at a nice restaurant, and then he invited me to his place. One thing about me is that I'm a German immigrant who moved to the US when I was younger. Anyways, when I entered his apartment, it was completely full of German stuff. German furniture, a German flag, posters of famous German singers, a toy car collection of only German cars, BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, and Volkswagen, a German shepherd stuffed toy, a drawer full of imported German snacks, and German paintings. And the guy isn't even German himself. I was extremely shocked when I saw all of those and I felt super uncomfortable. I have a strong feeling that he's only interested in me because of the fact that I'm German. So I need some advice. Should I still continue to go on dates with this guy or should I stop seeing him? Just don't look in that old chest with his grandfather's belongings. I'm Asian so I'm familiar with this type of guy. He's going to fetishize you and he sees you for your German-ness. He probably sought you out for this reason. He's never going to see you as a full human being. I personally wouldn't stay. I love Germany. I speak some of the language, studied a year there in college. Rammstein is one of my favorite bands. You wouldn't really know any of that walking into my house though unless you knew where to look. So based on my personal bias, this weird as fuck and makes me think he sees you as an object in his collection rather than a person. How did you meet him in school? Is this university and he's an older student? Just trying to figure out how someone his age met someone of your age. Either way, that kind of behavior is very unusual and you are right to feel concerned. Now is a good time to just break things off before it gets too weird and you get too invested in him. To be so obsessed with a country you aren't from to the point that you essentially make your home a shrine to it is obviously very strange and I honestly don't think it's worth your effort to unpack that with him. Even a German in Germany wouldn't decorate their house like that, as I'm sure you would agree. First of all, I love Germans. Germans are cool. I grew up with Germans. Every German I've ever met has been sound. I'm saying that to make clear this is not what I think when I think about Germany but it is what some people think when they think of Germany. A lot of white guys who are super into Germany are super into Germany because they have a fondness for a particular period of German history. Have you noticed anything about him that may indicate he's hiding some troubling political views from you? I'm not saying that is what's going on, and I'll take the down votes, but you should ask yourself the question, because that would make this whole thing a no-brainer. Even with the weird Germanophilic obsessions aside, this is all a bunch of red flags. He's so much older than you, I just think that age difference is a bit too steep, especially given your age. There's a big power and experience imbalance here. Think when he was your age, you were 12 years old. My point is, lots and lots of red flags here. This just sounds like something you'll realize was a very bad situation a few years down the line. 
I am not trying to infantilize you. I certainly was mature at your age, but I didn't have enough experience or perspective to manage things like this in a way that was best for myself. You'll get there, and we all deal with weirdos in our dating lives, but I think you're better off with weirdos closer to your own age for now. Boyfriend, 20 male, doesn't like to give me, 19 female, aftercare. How do I fix this? We have been together for a couple months and I have expressed to him my need for aftercare multiple times. I am a highly sensitive person with sexual trauma history so aftercare is a necessity to me. He knows this. Sometimes he does give it to me, and whenever he does I feel great. However a lot of the time he kind of just complains about it. Saying, I'd rather just shower afterwards, or, sex is already intimate enough. The most recent time, today, we were about to have sex and he said, I don't want to do this if I have to get reeled into 10 minutes of aftercare. It makes me feel really shitty when he says this kind of stuff and I have talked to him about it multiple times. I don't know what to do. He's telling you he doesn't care about your needs. Find someone who does. Sweetie, then he isn't for you. Maybe go be single for a good long while and strength yourself on your own, so you won't tolerate people who don't see your worth. You don't fix it. You acknowledge this person would rather go without sex if it means he can avoid spending time cuddling with you. And you find a partner that doesn't see your needs as a chore. Aftercare? Do you mean cuddling? What are we talking about? Why are underscore you underscore in a position where you think underscore you underscore should fix this when he's being completely disgusting and cruel? He should be writing this post about why he's able to engage in sex he wants but refuses to care for the person he's having sex with. It's just gross and wrong. Please can this idiot and stay single for a period of tyke to bask in yourself. No one underscore needs underscore to be with a horrible partner. Go find a guy that does care after you what is this omds.